Hello and welcome to another RenPy tutorial. In this video, we're going to finish uh, fleshing out our main menu a little bit by reformatting a couple of things. And I'm also going to show you how to add uh, theme music to your main menu. So while you're here, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my new videos. And with that, we are going to go ahead and jump right in. So I've already got my RenPy launcher open, and I've actually got my... Um, code editor open as well. Let me drag that over. There we go. So I'm going to be using uh, two different files today. We're going to be using the screens.rpy and options.rpy. I'm going to start off in the screens.rpy and we're going to go ahead and get our um, uh, menu reformatted. Let me go ahead and launch this and I'll show you what it looks like right now and what we're going to fix. So right now, everything looks pretty good. My spacing is a little bit off. You can see my preferences and about are right next to each other. So I'm going to show you how to space that out a little bit. Um, in addition to adding music, we're also going to get rid of this um, title over on the right. You might want that there, but I just think that looks kind of, uh, kind of unprofessional. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of that as well. All right, so first let's deal with the spacing issue. And this is actually really, really easy to do. Uh, so the main thing that I wanna do is just put more space between preferences and about. So the way that I'm going to do that is to scroll down. This is about line 284 on my code. Yours might be a little bit different. Um, but in your screen start RPY, scroll down to where you see main and game menu screens. And I'm just going to scroll down here. So this is what we did. Uh, we customized this in one of my earlier videos. I'll link to that above. Uh, be sure you check that one out if you haven't already. And I'm just going to go down to preferences. And I'm just going to, at the end of that string, I'm just going to add about seven spaces after that and then save it. So it's quote, preferences, seven spaces, and then another, uh, then another uh, ending quote there. Um, so now if I hit shift R, that's my hotkey to reload. And there we go. So that fixes the preferences and the about, but it kind of makes my start way over here on the left. So everything in this H box is going to be automatically formatted. And um, in my experience, the quickest way to deal with that, again, is just to add spaces at the uh, beginning of your, um, at the beginning or end of whatever you want to space out. So if you want more space to the left of start, then just add some spaces there, pop that back in and, oh, Sorry, sometimes it'll give you a warning like that. If it ever does that, just uh, stop it and reload it. Sometimes it does that if you're editing your code as you're uh, testing things or while your window is open. And there we go. That looks great. Uh, you might want a little bit more space or a little bit less space there. And if you do that, just adjust however many spaces you put in there. You can use more or you can use fewer. It's so whatever you want to do. Experiment with it and uh, find out whatever works for you, get whatever kind of look you want. Um, I also think I may have adjusted the X align and Y align just a little bit before I started this video. So remember your X align, I'm sorry, your Y align is where your H box is going to appear um, um, vertically on the screen. Um, so the higher that number is, the closer it will be to the bottom of the screen, the lower it is, the closer it'll be to the top of the screen. Um, and then X align is how it is aligned from left to right. So I've got mine at X align 0 0.2 and then Y align 0 0.95. So that's almost at the very bottom. It's about as close as you can get. All right, that's all we really need to do for that. That is pretty simple. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that um, that that file title and version, version number at the bottom right. So to do that, we're going to go to options.rpy and on mine, it's down on line 21. This should be at the, uh, close to the very top of your file, so within the first 20 or 30 lines. Look for define GUI dot show underscore name. And right now, that is set equal to true. All we're going to do is set that equal to false. Be sure you do false with a capital F. Boolean values in Python have to have a capital T or a capital F. And then let's go back into that, reload it with Shift R. And boom, there we go. Now that's gone. Everything looks a little bit nicer. And then one final thing that we're going to do is we're going to add background music. And this is also relatively easy. And the code for this actually already exists in our option file. It's just commented out. So I think I may have mentioned this before, but every time you have a number sign or a hash sign, uh, which is the, what is that, shift three key, that is going to be a comment. That is supposed to be human readable, but not computer readable. So every time you begin a line with a hash mark um, or a number sign, 
that's going to make it where that is not run as code by the computer. That's only for comments for us to read later. So a lot of these will tell you things um, about it. For instance, if we go to the uh, define GUI.showName, uh, determines if the title given above is shown on the main menu screen. Set this to false to hide the title. And that's what we did. We set it to false, that hides the title, but the computer ignores this. If I were to take those out, we would probably get some type of error because it would try to run that as code. Um, so we don't want to do that. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go down to, and mine, it's line 64. Again, yours should be close, but it might be a little bit different. So using comments is something that you can do in your code as you're debugging. Like if you have a piece of code that you think is causing problems, um, or if you don't want it there but think you might want to use it later, you can just put a hash mark at the beginning of that, si of, of that line, and then it won't be read. But then you can go back later, just remove that, and it'll run that code. Um, so here, that is, this line is commented out, and this is the line that plays the main music or the main menu music. So all you have to do is just delete that, and then put in the file name for whatever song you want to play. So mine is called. Let me see. It's over there in my audio folder. Hidden underscore threat dot mp3. So let me go ahead and put that in, and you'll of course use whatever file name you want to use for your music. Hidden underscore threat dot mp3. Let's save that. Um, I don't think that I'm recording my computer audio. I'm just using my microphone audio. So when I run that, I will probably be able to hear this, but you probably won't be able to. It's giving me an error. Oh, because I've got to do, sorry, I forgot. I've got to do the file path sounds slash hidden threat.mp3. All right, let's try that. Nope. All right, give me just a moment. Let's see if I can figure out what's causing that error. I figure out what it was. I'm an idiot. That should be audio slash hidden thread dot mp3, not sounds. Now let's try to run that, and this one should go just fine. There we go. And I don't know if you can hear that. I'll be really quiet. See if my microphone is picking that up. But now it's playing my theme song on the title screen. So doing uh, things like that, you know, getting rid of that title, spacing out your menu, customizing it how you want it, making it look different than the stock RenPy menu, um, adding theme music to your background, things like that, little tiny things are going to be things that will set apart your visual novel, make it look a lot more professional and a lot more memorable. All right, and that is going to do it for this video. Again, don't forget to hit the like button if you learned something or if you got something out of this video. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment if you have any questions or comments. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.